It's often claimed that before the arrival of the Slavs, much of what is now European Russia was inhabited primarily by Uralic and Turkic-speaking populations. From this, some go even further and argue that modern Russians are genetically more Finnish than Slavic. I've already made a video addressing this topic, but in hindsight, that video had some serious flaws. The first issue was my choice of proxy for Slavic ancestry. I used Solad 1, one of the earliest known Slavic samples. While historically important, its genetic profile does not accurately represent the Eastern Slavs who expanded into European Russia during the early medieval period. By relying on Solad as a Slavic proxy, I unintentionally inflated the apparent Baltic and Uralic admixture in Russian populations. The second major problem was methodological. I used G25, which is a useful exploratory tool but ultimately an amateur level method compared to more robust population genetics frameworks. For this analysis, I wanted something more rigorous, so I turned to QPADM. In this new video, I went back to the Human Origins dataset and carefully identified the cities and regions from which various Russian samples were collected. I then ran FST analyses comparing different Russian regions to other European populations to test the claim that Russians are genetically closer to Finnic groups. In addition, I used admixture tools too to model regional Russian populations, this time using Belarusians as a more appropriate proxy for Slavic ancestry. For this video, I focused on Central Russians, who are the majority of Russians, and not Russian Pomers, who are a small minority. Let's start from the south and make our way north region by region. First we start with Belgorod. Russians from this region not only cluster with Slavs such as Ukrainians and Belarusians, but are in fact closer to Bulgarians than they are to Finns and Russian Pomers from Penega and Leshikonsk. Russians from Belgorod can be modeled as a mix of Slavic and Caucasus, reflecting their Cossack heritage and ties to the steppe. Now let's move on to Kursk. Russians from this region also cluster with Slavs such as Ukrainians and Belarusians, and are also closer to Bulgarians than Finns. Russians from Kursk can be modeled as a two-way mix of Belarusian and minor Turkic. Now let's move on to Ryazan. Russians from this region once again cluster with Slavs such as Ukrainians and Belarusians, and are also closer to Bulgarians than Finns. Ryazan Russians can be modeled as a two-way mix of Turkic and Belarusian. Now let's move on to Kaluga. Russians from this region once again cluster with Slavs, such as Belarusians and Ukrainians, and are also closer to Bulgarians than to Finns. Russians from Kaluga can be modeled as a two-way mix of Iron Age Baltic Finn and Belarusians. Now let's move on to Smolensk. Russians from this region cluster tightly with Belarusians and Ukrainians, and are also closer to Bulgarians than Finns. Smolensk Russians can be modeled as a two-way mix of Caucasus and Belarusian. Now let's move on to Russians from the city of Kashin in Tver region. They also cluster with East Slavs, such as Belarusians and Ukrainians. They are also closer to Bulgarians than Finns. Keep in mind Kashin is located 200 kilometers north of Moscow. Russians from Kashin can be modeled as a three-way mix of Belarusian, minor Baltic Finn, and minor Turkic. Now let's move on to Yaroslavl. Russians from this region also cluster tightly with other Eastern Slavs such as Belarusians and Ukrainians, and are also closer to Bulgarians than the Finns. Keep in mind Yaroslavl is located about 200 kilometers north of Moscow. The genetics of Yaroslavl Russians can be broken down into Belarusian, Minor Turkic, and about 13% of balto finnic admixture. Now let's move on to Russians from Pskov. They also cluster tightly with Slavic people such as Belarusians and Ukrainians, although the Estonians show up among the closest populations as well. They are also closer to Bulgarians than Finns. Russians from Pskov can be modeled as a two-way mixture of Belarusian and Baltic Finn. Finally, we are moving on to the most northern of Central Russians, Russians from Konosha in Arkhangelsk Oblast. Russians from Konosha also cluster quite close to East Slavs, namely Ukrainians, however they are also quite close to Mordvinic people. Russians from Konosha are the only Central Russians to be closer to Finns than Bulgarians. Konosha is located 600 kilometers north of Moscow. Russians from Konosha are significantly more diverse than other Central Russians. They are substantially less Slavic, at only 68% Slavic ancestry, and carry large portions of Turkic, Volga, and balto finnic ancestry. Overall, I think it is obvious that Central Russians are very heavily Slavic genetically. But we need not forget that the Uralics themselves are very diverse.
Finns from Finland, for example, are majority Germanic autosomally, while Uralic people in Russia range from basically Slavic, like the Mordovians, to uniquely West Siberian, like the Mansi and Kanti.